Avery, today we start the next chapter in our lives, and I couldn't be happier. <laughs> this, is, this is hard. <laughs> when I moved out to LaGrange, I never thought that I would meet my best friend and soulmate. In 2018, God definitely had a plan for me when I was deciding to move back. You're the most beautiful, loving, caring, and selfless person I know, and you've made me a better man than I was before I met you. I knew the first time I saw how you were with, you, with the kids you teach, that your heart was pure and full of love for others. These were the qualities that made me first fall in love with you. I, remember, I still remember back to our first date and the first time we met in person. It was so natural and like we had known each other forever. I am forever grateful that you slid into my DMs. Oh well. <laughs> I know that leading up to our relationship beginning, we had been through ups and downs and tough times, but I thank God for the detours to you. Avery, as we begin this new chapter and start our family, I promise to love you unconditionally and be the best husband to you. I promise to always be there for you and to always work through the tough times together and also to be there to celebrate the good times together. I couldn't ask for a better partner, best friend, and wife to walk through the rest of my life with. I am also thankful for our families, that our families were so welcoming of us, and I can't wait for our families to become one. I can't wait to see how beautiful you look in your wedding dress today, our wedding dress, and today is the best day ever. I truly prayed for you and trusted God's plan for me, and it has brought us to this day where we become husband and wife. I love you so much. Love, Zach. Three years ago, as I sat in my kindergarten team planning and heard about you for the first time, never would I have imagined I would go on a blind date to the Los Nos and meet my future husband over quesadillas, the grande Michelob, and nonstop natural conversation. With you, it was different. It was special. And well, here we are, May 29th, 2021, and in just a few short hours, you're going to be my husband and I get to be your wife. I am ecstatic because not only do I get to marry the person I fell madly in love with, but I also get to marry my best friend. I've always dreamed of and prayed for my future husband. God could not have placed anyone more perfect for me in my life. I have never loved anyone like I love you. You are thoughtful, driven, compassionate, kind, genuine, and handsome, in all caps. Your smile and contagious personality light up the room and make me so proud to be yours. I love how you're a team player, how you treat our dogs like they're our children, how you're friends with everyone you meet, how much family means to you, and how competitive, competitive you are, even in categories, sometimes. I can honestly say that you're my absolute best friend, the person I look forward to waking up to each morning and kissing goodnight each night. You make me laugh, hold me when I cry, and bring me back to normal when I'm stressed. I know you'll make the best dad. We've both been through some extremely tough times, but I know all of that led us to each other in this moment right now. I thank him for the detours to you. I promise to choose you for the rest of our lives, my lifelong devotion, and to forever be loyal to you. I can't wait to be Avery Brett. I love you today, tomorrow, and forever. A covenant is till death do us part. So the witnesses are not just here to, to eat their food and drink their drinks. You're here for this covenant that we're about to step into. So Zach, will you take this woman to be your wedded wife, to live together in holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her, 
comfort her? Will you honor her and keep her in sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, keep yourself only to her so long as you both shall live, do you? Avery, will you take this man to be your wedded husband, to live together in holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor him and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, keep yourself only to him so long as you both shall live. Do you so promise?